Let's talk about another topic which is near and dear to your heart since you've been doing a lot of work on this over the years, biosimilars. Has, uh, um, wh wh what's been sort of new and exciting? Because I, I did notice that Teva uh, had a complete response letter. I mean, was that a surprise? Or is this just sort of par for the course in terms of what's going to happen in the U.S.? Yeah, so this is, this is a very interesting development. So, so, la um, so when the healthcare reform bill passed, the big thousand page healthcare reform bill that passed in March, um, within, embedded within that health care bill was, was, a, was, was a, um, a legal pathway for generic versions of biotech drugs. The biotech industry doesn't like it when I use the word generic. They, they like it when we use the word biosimilar ver version of, of, of these drugs. And that, that pathway has yet to be tested. And so Teva uh, received a complete response letter for their biosimilar version of Amgen's Nupagen just uh, yesterday. However, however, Teva did not pursue an abbreviated pathway. They did not pursue the pathway that was created in the health care reform bill. They filed before that bill was enacted into law. Okay. They filed a regular BLA. And it's interesting that the FDA didn't approve it. So what we don't know is once companies start taking advantage of the abbreviated pathway that's outlined within this bill, will the FDA, will the standards for approval change versus what Teva has done, and that is file with a full BLA package. So we don't know. Uh, personally, I was surprised that Teva didn't get their, their, um, their version of Amgen's Nupagen approved. And I was surprised because, uh, number one, the Europeans approved it. Uh, the same, the right. same drug ap approved it, and 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 you know the Western European regulators are are, are rigorous, and 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 number two, uh, uh, in conjunction with that approval in Europe, the data was released publicly, so so I as a analyst and investors could go get the the Teva data, and it looked fine, so so I was I was surprised. Uh, now Teva set has said that no new studies are required, which is sort of a um, would imply that the delay may be uh, under a year. Uh, I think if that's the case, um, then we could see a launch of this. We could see a potential launch of this drug next year, although Amgen's challenging them in court.